This is Matrix Lord 212 for Matrix Vlog. Hello, everybody. Okay, so it's funny. Yesterday I was going through my old emails, uh, which I usually do every now and then because I have my book IDs and stuff like that, and I like to review um, what was going on between me and the publisher and what was I doing at the time. And I stumbled upon a series of emails <clears throat> that I guess I sent to myself from 2012 with the headline 2018. So that kind of caught my eye. And, you know, it's sort of like a time capsule, but by email, where at some point in time I knew that I would be checking through the old emails, and I made sure that I would see that. So basically it had, uh, it was like a journal too, like where it told me everything that was going on uh, in 2012 at that point in time that I was going through my mindset, uh, Hurricane Sandy, um, just got together with Sharon, um, and it basically laid out, reminding me, <clears throat> like through a checklist, an outline on where my head is with what I wanted to do with the books, where I wanted to go in the future, what did I want to accomplish by 2018. So I also like kind of reminded myself too, um, basically, you know, I figured that with the Hurricane Sandy, that would really put a dampener on things and really cause a lot of problems because it was, you know, a big event and affected me. So um, I guess I knew that some of that stuff might not happen or maybe delayed. So it was kind of like a little reminder. And, you know, presently, um, I want to do uh, the new Tomorrow Songbook point of view. And by looking at my message, series of messages, I'm like, wow, it really um, changed my direction where I want to complete my original task. I want to do what I set out to do um, without it being altered too much. So it's kind of a wake up call. And, you know, it, it was like a thing where by 2018, this is what I wanted to do. And, you know, right now it's 2017, so, um, you know, some of the stuff is possible. Some of the stuff may not be. I don't know what's going to happen, you know, by the end of 2018, what's going to happen. But um, I am going, my, my course is kind of altered, where before, with different things going on, I was not going to do a book this year because of, like, financial stuff to do with, I have to go to the dentist, and it's going to cost a lot of money, but this kind of really motivates me now to um, want to put out that book 13 that I was talking about in 2012, and the funny thing about that is, is that in 2012, when I did this email, these series of emails, the key factor was that Promise Dream book 10 was about to be published, Okay, wasn't published yet or it was around being published. It was like there it was just about done. Um, so like basically book 10 was there and I'm talking about book 13. So it's very I, I must have figured something would happen where by this time, 2018, 2017, whatever, I would be up to book 13. So, you know, I would suggest, you know, because I am a fan of like time capsule and I always had, was fascinated with, you know, you either bury it or something, and then you you dig it up like 20 years later or 10 years later. You know, in, in this day and age, it wouldn't be that extreme. You'd probably like send an email to yourself or you write yourself a letter and put it in a place where you would know. Um, but it's always good to keep a record of what was going on in your life through different things, different times, different events stuff that altered your path or affected you, whether you're super happy, super sad. So um, I am very grateful that I wrote myself a series of emails. Um, I totally forgot about it, actually. So, um, you know, now I am pumped. And, you know, it's a thing where I really want to work on this book that I talked about. And it's not the book that I'm doing. So that's even another uh, issue because I already have so many pages into um, Point of View Tomorrow Song book. And it's, you know, it's going to change things. But um, this is going to be also another thing too that you're not aware. But usually when I do a book, 
it means less YouTube videos. Now, um, you know, you can't do both, so to speak. So the, the amount of YouTube videos may shrink, um, which I put so many out, you may not even notice it. I don't know. But I'll notice it when it comes to the end of the year, like in December, when um, I'll get a thing from YouTube and it'll be like, all right, you put, you put out a thousand videos a year. Like last year, I put out 700 because I was doing Perfect Wish. So again, we'll see what happens. I mean, I hopefully, uh, you know, I could either uh, do the book and take some time off and here and there and not put as many videos out and then make it up later on. Or maybe not. I mean, if I don't make it up, oh well. But at least I'll be getting book 13 out. So, which also means that I'm probably going to be working my head off and butt off, you know, trying to get the money for that. So, um, through different things and writing articles and stuff like that and putting it away for that project. So, um, all right, guys. So, wish me luck with book 13, whatever it turns out to be. And take care. Bye for now.